everyone, and welcome back to Squeal's Gaming Channel and another episode of Horizon Forbidden West. Today, we've got another pretty cool episode. Um, I mean, look at that view right there. And we're going to be heading up this bridge into the jungle here. But the twist is that we are on this, this island here on the edge of the map. The one kind of major area of the game that we haven't really explored in any kind of detail yet. Um... In our last video, we finished up and took Demeter to over to Gaia and got that all squared away. Now we're working towards getting Hephaestus, which I believe is on this island, but we need a, an Omega Override to be able to use him or it. It's an AI, you know, but uh, we came over here after we talked to Gaia and there was just this person that was offering a little rowboat and that took us over to the island now so there's probably going to be a lot of deep sea underwater traversal that island that i just looked at is like off the coast over here somewhere so that is some stuff we'll be getting into in later videos we've already got a tall neck our main quest um to go to legacy's landfall which i'm assuming will be the next town we're going to try to cover some of all that in this video here today um and just FYI, you can't take that little rowboat back to to the mainland. But I think it's funny that they use a rowboat to even come out here in the first place. But there's the first fireplace. I would imagine this area is going to be filled with hostile enemies. It's kind of the end game area, other than the actual Zenith base itself. So I'm going to be on the lookout. Usual kind of, a little more explorative. Not trying to fight everything I see. You know, here's something right here group of claw striders a uh, claw strider and some fang horns I should say yeah, if he doesn't scan me it'll be good if I sound a little different today it's because I'm using a new upgraded headset it's considerably better than my previous one so it'll sound a little different but I'm hopefully in the long run it'll sound much cleaner. All right, these guys should. Yeah, they're giving up. They're not really. I'm not too worried about these guys, but I don't want to waste time fighting them right now. I really want to kind of get down to the the promised content of this video. So you know what? We're just gonna run past. <laughs> Spent all that time trying to get him to shake my scent, and then I'm just like. YOLO! Yeah, he already lit me up. Make sure to bring max healing items to this place. That looks like a mine. It's weird to just see one single mine, but generally if there's a mine, that means stalker. And there's some fire gleam right there. Okay, that's a little harder to ignore. Wow. This new headset I got, everyone is crazy. It's just, it's vibrating on my head and stuff. I've never had one like this before. If you guys are curious about, like, the technical specs, um, I do kind of post sometimes on my Instagram some of the various different stuff I'm using consoles mainly and whatnot but if you if you're curious about maybe you know headsets and all that let me know in the comments and uh, we can discuss that a little bit otherwise i'd put it in the video but i don't want to stop the gameplay right now to get those details all right quick little run through the woods and we're back on a beach and this looks to be the ruins of san francisco wow yeah, we finally made it. This is, again, that distant island that we were kind of looking at the last couple videos. Really kind of impressive. Oh, there's the tall neck. That is not what I was expecting to find. He's in the water. I have to get a closer look at this. See what's up with that. I don't know how he's going to... Like the was coming from that reveal the whole map if he's underwater. I mean, this already has the data on it. Yeah, there's glint hawks, which are the fly, uh, yeah, flyer ones. They're dangerous, but it's of course the sea monsters that I'm concerned with, especially since our target's in the water. 
Wow, there he is. I wonder how that happened. It's a big old fish. I haven't run into anything really in the game that's dangerous animal-wise. There's all kinds of animals, and you can hunt most of them, uh, minus like the basic fish. But other than that, um, you're pretty much just worrying about machines. Like, I'm not going to get attacked by a shark or anything. I need to be on the lookout for basically the giant gators and um, these, like, plesiosaur-type machines. We've seen them both already, but... Yeah, so this is interesting. He's just kind of out here in the water, and there's really nothing much to worry about. There's going to be probably a whole underwater exploration video, and that's going to be an anxiety-filled one for me, but there's just so much more underwater um, elements to the map now that we've gotten to this kind of section, and it just begs to be explored. I, I would miss out on probably a lot of stuff if I didn't go after the underwater stuff, but of course, uh, there's a lot, and that's just going to have to be another video. Um... Seems to have knocked the tall neck down. Maybe the current. Better take a look at the damage. Oh, so I just have to scan him, okay. Now we're examining the submerged tall neck. This is interesting. They really uh, worked hard to mix up like the tall neck experiences in the second one. I mean, they were they varied a little bit in the first one, but the second one is just like minus one or two. Or every tall neck I've come across, I've just been kind of like, wow, this is a whole situation. <laughs> All right. Well, now that we've scanned him, we know we need to recover his missing parts. So, doing some quick scans. It'll show us not just where the parts might be, but anything in the area. I should have done this sooner, because it's actually kind of like your basic scan, I feel like, is much more useful underwater. It acts as kind of like a sonar, a short-range sonar. But I can kind of scan all the way to that little ruined building there in the distance you see. And there's obviously a couple things over there um, that are beeping. It could be treasure chests, could be enemies, it's hard to say. Right here, it's just like the parts of this tall neck, and then there's a couple other random items. But okay. So since we're working on this, let me change the side quest real quick. It's the landfall tall neck quest. That's... So we need to go this way to these two spots to secure the tall neck's parts. And there's also a shelter right there that I can get, and a campfire. Definitely, I usually focus on a lot of the campfires in between videos, so I have the fast travel access. But any that we see during the gameplay, I generally also try to grab. I really don't want to get into like a false sense of security here, but I'm just kind of mind blown that there's so much open water and there's not a single hostile machine. Even the little guys, uh, the barreler, burrower, whatever he is. I think those guys, they have an underwater variant as well. And even they would normally wouldn't even be a problem. Anything underwater is kind of a threat because you can't really fight back. You can only flee and hide. Um, so we're looking for this missing tall next part. Um, kind of arrived. Doesn't appear that they're un actually underwater though. So we might end up actually having to deal with these glint hawks up here while we're getting these parts for the tall man. Go figure. This is kind of cool, though. This is a much more enjoyable underwater experience than the previous one. And it actually, there happens to be an alligator guy right there. May end up having to deal with him for the next set of parts. I think they're over there. But right now, it's about figuring out how to get up higher to grab these parts. Um, I figured I'd found the way. But perhaps not. Take another look real quick underwater before we. Yeah, there's the gator. 
So I know those ruins over there are going to be dangerous for underwater activities. Oh, this is used to. This looks like a stadium right here, actually. So it makes more sense now how that tall neck under maybe underwater. This is part of the San Francisco ruins, I'd say. And just with this being kind of like, like its own version of a post-apocalyptic game, everything we see is just, it's been so long, so it, the sea kind of just overtook a large part of the landmass. It's interesting. Uh, let's see about this for getting up there. Looks like it could have worked if there was an opening in the ceiling here, which there is not, so this isn't the, this isn't the way either. You can always do a little scan. There are several grapple points. Looks like that's how we're doing this, because I can't see any other way. There's also a box over here. Looks like there might be light puzzling for this. Yeah, because... Let's see. Yeah, the grapple point doesn't really seem to be in a position where I could easily just jump up there. Which, of course, you know... That's interesting how they just floated over there conveniently. Might as well grab this loot right here. Probably gonna need to pull that cube closer to be able to make that jump. Yeah, that should be good. It's not gonna back down. Whoa! <laughs> kind of forgot about that guy. He startled me a little bit. Yes, that makes sense. These little turds have been stealing the parts. Ooh, wasn't sure if I was making that jump. There's a the grapple point. Here with this Glen Hog. See if I can get him before he manages to take off or do anything like that. Yeah. Slow mo. Throw another one. Ah, it's right over his head. That was a bad shot. Thing you see. That looks like the part I'm looking for. One down, one to go. Cool. And the next one is over there. Just like we thought with all these gators. Okay. Just trying to think of the best way to approach this one. Um, probably have to kill that Glen Hawk over there. There's two gators. Three gators. So, fighting the gators is not really something I want to do at all. That's just too many. If it was like one or two, maybe, but... The Glen Hawk, I think there's no way to avoid fighting him. And it's unfortunate because this rope that would get us over there, I think, would be more from getting over here from over there. So, Kinda sucks, but I think the best way to go about getting closer would be going underwater. Because I can keep an eye on all the gators. Swing a little bit over this way. 
there's not a whole lot to really hide behind, so this is going to be tense. Yeah, this guy's already suspicious of me, but since I'm inside the building now, I don't have to worry about them as much. If I really had to, I could just swim through here. Oh, this looks convenient right here, actually. Alright, we're in. There's a grapple point. Get us up higher. Okay, and the part goes over there somewhere. So like I said, the Glenhawk, probably can't avoid combat with him. Get my little spear ready just in case. Let's try some stealth and get rid of him. Especially because he might alert the gators, I don't know. It's risky. Plus he, yeah, he had the part, so he was in the way. Okay, skipping a quick swim. Um, because I thought I was done with this, but apparently there were two parts over here. So going all the way to the top of this same building that we were on top of. It's just one floor higher. There's like the stairs to the upper part of the stadium, I guess. These ruins here. And here's the other part. I thought it was glitched or something, the but they just had kind of two for one in this spot. But now, I can with certainty go back to the tall neck. And I can even make use of this little rope we saw earlier, which is cool. Whoa. <laughs> you crazy Aloy. Well, that was kind of cool. I was just going to like fast travel back over to it, but they made it pretty easy. I need to put these tonic pieces I found back where they belong. I should return to the Pokemon. Some loot down there. Okay, I'm definitely gonna have to like do a lot of exploration underwater later. All right, we've got his pieces. Let's see where do we put them. What if this guy's really just gonna be walking around in the water once we're done? It says install the part. He's not on his head, so I must actually want us to put him. Wherever we got those ones before, yeah, they were like on the sides somewhere. It just popped up yeah, like this. Yeah, okay. Just about figuring out his route. It looks like over there, probably. Yeah, let's get at those ruins in front of him there. There's like a whole little string of islands here, actually, leading to a bigger island that we'll probably end up exploring behind these ruins. So that's cool. Question is to get up on them. Do we swim up on top? This looks promising. I should 
be able to jump onto the tarmac from here. Yeah, probably gonna want to get a little higher than that, though. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, because it doesn't seem like we'd be able to reach the tall part of his neck either way from here, so... When he walks past that one ledge, that might actually be the best opportunity. Go ahead and try gliding. Made it. Nice. Now to climb it. up to its head. Question is, am I going to be able to climb up to his head? Yeah. Okay. The last one we tried this on was missing some parts, and I couldn't climb up. So, but this one seems to be all right. Wow, this is quite the climb. At least if I fall, I'll just end up in the water. There we go. Time to over. the little adventure and um, yeah there's already a question mark on that island I will probably be checking that out eventually you can kind of see like a little rough view of the entire island now thanks to that tall neck however there is still a large part of the sea over here that's actually shrouded there might be one more tall neck or we'll just have to explore all that ourselves and then this be in the zenith base but we can kind of see a little view of the map now there's some more ruins bunch of campfires that I'll be coming through here and grabbing. Um, Rebel outpost, no doubt. And then that town over here that we'll be making our way to now, I guess. Yeah, that's the next thing on the list. So we'll head to this campfire. Let's go back to the one that we grabbed over here. We're going to go see what this town's all about. And also that's where we need to continue the main quest. Apparently this is a brutal tribe that a lot of people were sort of uneasy about Aloy coming here to meet with them, but she's fairly confident that she can get along with them. Aloy does kind of get along with everyone, no matter how brutal or peaceful they are. She just has a way with people. I think it's her empathy and her ability to pretty much listen to anyone's struggle and relate, or at least seem like she's relating. Alright. What are these guys? Just regular low, lower tier robots or whatever. Alright, cutting across this way. It's weird, we're seeing some lighting. So... This little tribe or whatever that's out here may actually be pretty well off. We're already feeling their presence, which is something I can't say about a lot of the other tribes that we came across. Some of the little towns, you didn't even really realize There's that they were there until you were pretty much arrived at their gate. <laughs> um, what did you say? There was a drone? Yeah, that's the last drone I think I have, actually. I've grabbed the campfire, so I'll come get that drone. And then maybe I'll have to do a video of me turning that in. I'm not sure what the drones are really for. They reveal, like, you can go back to the base and have fancy backgrounds for the Gaia room. But past that, I don't know if there's much more to it other than just it's a side quest. Is that her? The living wow. ancestor. The diviner. This is Landfall, right? Oh, these people. I'm looking for Alba. It's their Overseer settlement. That's why she was confident she could get along with them. Approach. We've already met Please. these guys. Come with me. They are aggressive, but Go. they're pretty advanced. Let them know we're coming. They're cool. I like them. It's her. 
The Diviner was right. Overseer Bohai. A stranger just walked through the gate. I knew Alva would not dare lie. You do look like Sobek. Is Alva here? I need to talk to her. I will consider your request once it is determined what you are. A living ancestor as Alva believes, or a threat lurking in such a guise. I am no threat, okay? Back on the mainland, your soldiers fired on me without warning. So you say, infidel. None of those you engaged survived to bear witness. I held off on your squad when... May I present our honored CO. So, here she is, our great mystery. Well, Bohai, what have you divined? What is she? A mystery indeed, my CO. How can she appear as Sobek, and yet know nothing of our ways? Are we to believe that a living ancestor was born to this wretched land, an ocean apart from the realm of the Chosen? And if so, to what end? I cannot answer. Only she can. But I warn you, no falsehood will satisfy us. Now speak. Why are you here? That's a lot of truth purpose? to tell, buddy. You sure you want all I'm that? looking for a place called Thebes. And what do you seek there? Alva told me a little bit about what you're after. I guess you could say I want what you want. A way to heal the world. As I suspected. Tell her. We found Thebes. The final resting place of Ted Pharaoh's secrets. It isn't far, but the way is closed to us. Machine attacks have cut us off from the site. Diviner Alva is there, along with a complement of diggers and soldiers. Is she all right? Our scouts tell us that a machine has our people pinned. This guy was like so untrusting of us just a second ago, and now we're already getting our, our quest from him. <laughs> Machines, huh? I mean, they always gotta find a way to get back to that. the gameplay quicker than later, oh, told but I still think it's funny. Formidable. But I have a few questions first. We will answer what we can. What kind of machine has your people pinned down near Thebes? A thunder jaw. We've dealt with them before, but this one is... Tougher, uh, I've actually stronger, avoided all Thunder Jaws up to this armor. point. I guess I'm about almost pretty much to the point right now where I guess I could take one on. And Doesn't matter. It would be tough, but... It won't be easy, yeah. but I can take it down. Then destiny shines this is a special upon one, us, apparently. as I knew it would. A living ancestor now walks among us, and she will help me attain the secrets of Thebes. Resupply here if you must. Then on to Thebes at the base of the pyramid in the ruins. We will follow when our scouts confirm you've cleared the way. What more do you need? Uh, well, I guess nothing, yeah. I could ask them a few questions, going. but I got what yes, I need. Yes, you should. Wow. I don't want to talk to you anyway. All right, new town. This is actually a cool-looking one. Little boat town. 
what is this one called? Oh, Legacy's Landfall. Makes sense. And it's kind of the last major town of the game, I think. Unless there's something over here. I think this is mostly water. Um, yeah. So let's walk over here to the beach. I like this little... This little ship theme. This might be another one of my favorite settlements, actually. I mean, just the view, obviously, is hard to deny. Let's go ahead and take some of this. Whatever this is. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just breaking into your neighborhood chest. I can get it for my stash later. Yeah, it's just a little boat type thing. But if we look out that way, yeah, I can kind of see something there. Like on the little mountain top in the distance. That's really it. There's sort of a fog conveniently placed. The, the mountain top might be this right here. I can kind of lightly see out there. It's not a total fog, I guess, like I thought. So maybe that tall neck did reveal everything. It just it really is all water minus this. So I might end up checking that out at some point. Um, Thebes is over there. That's the next objective now. Um, so, yeah. That's kind of where we're at. There should be there might be one more person. I'm hoping I'll find them maybe while I'm doing my explorations. I need to find the last person who gives out um, the hunting contracts. Because then I can get this legendary armor set. Um, yeah, I guess first real quick. Let's finish up our little glance at the town here and then we'll move on. Just wanted to get my bearings now that we've got a full scope of the new little section of the map the here. Can I assist you? This is actually a really cool little island. I like it. They've actually already pretty much... Um, it's not official. It hasn't been confirmed. It's all via data mining and stuff. So you have to take it with a grain of salt. But there are possible uh, not just one, but apparently several. I don't know if that's two or three, but more than one expansion coming to this game there was only one expansion for the first one so any dlc i'm going to be really excited for but now that i've made it to the final kind of area of the game i feel like even if i don't get through the rest of this on time which it's looking like i will but even if i don't i can probably start the dlc now with confidence we've explored the rest of the map got our first local rumor for the island here let's see what they got to say don't mind, we're talking rumors while everyone here is just asleep around us, you know. <laughs> Good omen if I ever saw one. I'm a scout for the expedition. Whatever I learn of this strange land, I will share with you. As is my duty to the ancestors. I should tell you when. My fellow scouts found ancient ruins west of here. They claim to have seen a relic of the ancestors inside, but couldn't find a way to retrieve it. Perhaps a living ancestor could discover a way where others could not. Maybe if I find myself in the area. Yeah, that's the ruin that I pointed out on the map. Pretty much already knew what she just told us. A stomach lined the muscle strengthened. Okay. Well, what a little town you guys have here. Everything's revealed. I think I'm going to actually go ahead and go back and grab that drone real quick. This is right here. I like how they have their little bridge here, too. They're totally isolated from the rest of the island. <laughs> What's she running for? Asking the real questions. All right. So it looks like the best way to get that drone would be like getting atop this building. Or more likely getting up right there, probably. First I have to see what's climbable. Because unlike in previous chapters of the game, where we just kind of jump over the mountains and just climb whatever we can stand on, I won't really be able to do that with great skyscrapers. Looks like there is a way, though. Yeah, I'm making progress towards something here. Whoa. I got me stuck in that window now because that thing fell. 
All right, cool. Yes, we arrived. I'll wait for it to come back over here and see if it looks like we're gonna jump on it. Yeah, he's at the next stop. Uh, it's too high. Maybe I can climb something to jump onto the drone. Wow, what a sunset. Sturdy beam, okay. This is pretty stressful. <laughs> All these things that look like are barely going to make the jump. Yeah, I didn't think we'd have to get up this high to jump on that guy. I didn't think I'd be able to get up this high. Most of these skyscrapers are probably are just more for scenery, but I do expect some of them we'll have to mess with. Other than this one, there'll probably be one or two for the quest line to mess with. There might be one that has something hidden in it, you know, like some in-game stuff. And even those ruins that are on the other part of the island we haven't really explored yet might actually have something like that hidden in it. All right. See so the drones over there. Let's wait and see where the best place to try and jump on it might be. Because he's scanning over here now. Yeah, so probably maybe getting up here. Yeah. I don't, know, just, I don't know how you were supposed to get up here if that was the right way to do it, but it worked. I'm going to come out here, sit on this ledge. And it sucks as he just left. I'll have to wait for him to come all the way back around again. It should only take a second. And should be able to reach him now. Woo! Taking you with me! Alright, got him. something in that little building. Some loot. Get the data from the drone. Got him. That was my last uh, little survey drone. So, that's done. Not sure what that does, but cool. I take that stuff back to the room that guy is in. Alright, I think the thieves thing, I'm going to leave that. Um, we'll dive back into the story possibly in the next video. Um, there is one tall neck left over here, so I think there's that I still want to do. I'm not going to probably work on the story for a minute because we're going to get caught up on all this. Oh, there's actually, yeah, we're just going to, I'm going to take you guys on a light journey here. Let's see. Um, surprise never reeled that fireplace. So let's go back to this shelter. Um, for the remainder of this video, I want to do a light sweep across the island here. Just going to grab some some fireplaces, some of which I would have done anyway. I'm, I'm not going to get them all, but I also didn't want to like go through here getting all these fireplaces that are on a, the opposite part of the island that we're not really exploring yet. And not show at least some of that footage. Although for all I know, we might end up back over here once we start picking up the main quests again anyway. There's probably at least several quests going to take place on this island before we make our way back to the mainland and then inevitably take on the, the zenith base. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of extra little objective markers just because I have jobs set for various uh, animals. I need their hides and stuff for... Still working on the pouch upgrades. Alright, found that fireplace. Now we got to run over towards this one. We were pretty much kind of messing around over in that section previously. And we just traveled back to the beach that we were at for the tall neck, and we're working our way just into the different part of the jungle now here. Just 
should be a fireplace right up there. Nice. Okay, that's the where we technically started right there. So saying there's a fireplace over this way. island it's just it's kind of almost impossible to tell that this was once a very vast major city something what is that what is going on here crazy whatever it is now it's gone I'll be honest guys that was a little creepy I have no idea what that was I feel like it was a uh, some kind of scanning capability of a possibly one of these new machines that was a Sunwing I think that's a totally new guy all right we're just getting out of there I don't know what was going on Campfire discovered. And the sun wings aren't going to be so easy to outrun. They're the flyers. They're the more agile ones. And actually, I'm hoping in one of the real, uh, like one of the next couple videos here, we might be finally getting to taming them. That's the only guy I have left to tame, really. Alright. I accidentally tagged that workbench, but we're making our way over to the fireplace on this way. Kind of got another majestic bridge. Looks like this side of the island isn't a whole lot different from the other one, but. this fireplace. This is basically kind of what I do in between some of these videos. Um, I have grabbed some of the fireplaces and basic fast travel points in previous videos, but there's been a lot of them that I just kind of did in between to cut out some of the tediousness of these videos the same way I do with some of the extra dialogue between like picking up side quests and all that. I know there is probably a small amount of players that might actually prefer to have that content, but I just... I like to keep it really to the gameplay, at least for now. Just the raw uh, gameplay and exploration. I want everyone to get kind of a full taste of the game, but without doing it in just some quick little review video, you know? So it's like if you actually wanted to get like the entire game, we can do that, but also don't have to stop for every little thing. I'll, I'll clean up a lot of the small stuff. And that's what so that's sort of what I'm going to try to do. Um, well, We'll see if that continues to work out. What the feedback on that is, of course, is with all things, I'm always open to what you guys think on that. Bunch of little guys here. This is a, oh, what is that? What is that thing? Oh, hey, it's one of those vine things we can probably open. I don't see the actual the node, and uh, I'm not really that worried about it. I'll come back to it. Right now, we're just about the exploring, about pretty much getting the map ready for us to actually dive into and get rid of all the nitty gritty details. That's kind of how I tackle these games in general, these open world exploration ones. Oh wow! Look, you can see the bridge. That's cool. I got another fireplace, just like that. And now that I've grabbed that one, we're actually kind of doing pretty good. We've got one left over here, 
and then I need to see what this is. I thought this was actually a camp. Um, that may not be the case. It says shelter. I thought it was going to be a rebel camp in like the last little rebel camp of the game, really. But they might not be on this island at all. I mean, it wouldn't really make sense for them to be over here, I guess, story-wise, but... Alright. Um, it's all the way over there. So... This will swim across and climb. There's a gator right there, a couple gators. Good thing I didn't swim over on that side. Yeah, now we're back to doing the Skyrim and strategy where you just jump up the mountain. Although, maybe not. These are some special mountains. Even the endgame mountains on this little island, they're not going to be like the mountains from the rest of the game. They're like, you can't climb us the way you've climbed the others. Wow, that makes this like a lot more challenging. Have to figure out how to get up there then. There doesn't seem to be another way. The green might be more reliable, let's see. I rush of air. Yeah, that's just not working. Um, well, let's see. Yeah, okay. So we're pretty much probably going to have to go around. Because it looks like there's sand on the other side. It's like a beach. So if I can't get up this way on these like raw rocks, then it would make sense to try and come up on the beach. See, here's some sand, but this isn't, this still isn't going to be the way to get up there, I don't think, because I can't get up this way. And it won't stop me from trying, I guess, but... I really love how there's just like a tide in this game, the waves. The water is pretty, pretty phenomenal in this game. Could look a little better right there, I guess, but it's just pretty, pretty good still. Okay, now we've arrived. Um, Still can't get up higher though, but at least we're actually on the island now. I got a lot of these sunbeaks that are gonna really annoy me if they if they detect me. Sunbeaks might actually be the only way to get up there. Maybe that's why they were there. I was just talking about how uh, we still need to get to the point in the story where we can tame them. Yeah, huh. Unless, let's do one last little check with the focus to see like, if I can climb up right here, maybe. Nope. Has to be with the sunbeaks. Well, that's cool. Now we have a reason to get them. Those are the sunbeaks right there. I'm going to come tame them. And we're going to reveal that at some point. But for now, go back to this previous campfire and scout out the last little part of the island here. take a little shortcut through here. This is weird. They're just kind of running in between buildings, I guess. Oh, wow. Now we got a waterfall starting at this. Wow, this is actually really cool. Uh-oh. called a slaughter spine. That's basically like a Spinosaurus. Wow, that's a whole new monstrosity. Apparently we gotta take him out because he has parts I need for something, so that'd be fun. Alright, there's that. Head over to this last campfire here. It's like a ruined ship. Yeah. Might be something in there worth coming back to and checking out as well.
Actually, this campfire is basically right in this ship. All right. That's that. There might be something over in this direction. Um, I don't know. But that's pretty much the island. Um, uh, we do have this one campfire here in these ruins. I will probably take care of that on my own. Let's go ahead and get that fireplace, though. Just see if there's anything over there visually worth checking out. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of those slaughter spines. Ultimately, this has kind of been the ruins of San Francisco, though, with this video. It's been pretty cool. Um, this is where the ruins are, kind of in these smaller skyscraper-type buildings. The water is much more shallow over here. Kind of where we're going, like, I feel like that's probably like the centerish part of the city. Capital-looking-type building. Wet. I think that broken building is the ruin that Quinn Scout told me about. There should be a relic inside. Yeah, here is the fireplace. And yeah, then we would climb up there. And the relic is probably up there somewhere. I'll do that ruin on my own. We've already done a couple ruins in videos, so not too worried about it. It's this one little random question mark thing that's here. Oh, there's some fire gleam on the inside. But alright, so yeah, the next video we'll probably pick up going back to Thebes now that this is all caught up, and we'll go from there. The last thing today, um, we, st we have one tall neck left in the game at this point, and that's this guy right there. And I picked up, while I was doing some random uh, unimportant side quests in between videos, I did pick up one side quest to talk to this lady right here, which is what we're about to go do. And I wasn't sure if it was going to be related to this tall neck or not. It seems weird that we still don't have this tall neck, even after getting that last one on the new island. So, we we'll to check it out. This will probably be the thing that gets cut off, and I'll end up just, if this is the tall neck thing, I'll finish it up on my own and let you know, let you guys know how that Have went fun. before I was annoying running back to the next part uh, of the quest, the main quest line. Everything okay? But let's see what they have to say. What are you doing out here? Ask my grandmother. I risked leaving guard duty to look for her. She stopped to see the bloom, and now she won't leave. Since when does she care about flowers? They're not just flowers, child. They're scarlet stems with the scent that soothes the nerves. Or so I was told many years ago by an Utaru seed tracker. An Utaru? Now you're telling stories. If one trespassed here back then, you'd have killed him on sight. I couldn't found him picking flowers right near here in Tanakh territory. I was all set to strike him down, but he was singing. <laughs> singing? Can't remember the tune now. Just the lilt of his voice. And his name. Nilo. He decided to stay for a day or two. I took guard duty here so I could keep coming back to him. And he kept delaying his return to plain song. For the flowers, he said. Please don't tell me I'm descended from a Utaro gardener. Almost. Almost. But the thrill of battle called to me, and he had to return to his people. I've always wondered about the life I missed with him, whether he misses it too. Would he welcome me in plain song, or at least accept a scarlet stem? It's a long way to plain song, but I get back there now and then. I could pick some scarlet stems and bring them to Nilo. If I can find him, please. Unfortunately, it it's there. starting to really look like this is not going to be the side quest passed. that I thought it was. The tall neck like will know, probably still be out of reach. Like There's a, that cauldron nearby that we you can access I mean. either, so those, those two I things might go hand in hand. Encouraging and there's only a, a handful of that. main Why quests and left in the game, so it's only a matter of time. So I apologize for the misleading going into this. I just thought that it might actually be. Yeah, related to this right here. I mean, we do have all these just super pretty majestic looking flowers. So that's probably... Something tied to why they, these characters chose to be here. I mean, it is pretty cool looking, but anyway. Um, yeah, I, yeah, gathering their flowers. So I'll go ahead and do that. That's not 
what I thought it was going to be. Um, but that's pretty much it for this video. Um, if you guys like this content, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more. Um, like I said, in the next video, we're going to go ahead and pick up the main quest line. Sorry this video was a little chaotic as we kind of just wrapped up a bunch of different things as we prepared to push on to the final few chapters of the game. Um, I hope you guys have liked the ride so far. And thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.